Hello. These are some lightly defended independent C provinces. And here's a pretty efficient way to get underwater. This video is going to be discussing the minimum gear required to make a Black Servant a viable underwater expander. Black Servant is a Conjuration 1 Death 2 spell and it needs 5 Death Gems. Here's what you get. 18 hit points and 15 morale are a bit low for a solo expander. Unfortunately that makes this chassis a bit inconsistent. Protection 0 is a problem which needs to be solved with items. Life Drain is an important skill. The most significant aspect of it is that you'll regain 1 hit point for every 2 damage dealt. The damage itself is respectable. The problem with this attack is that it's length 0, which means it'll get repelled quite often. Attack skill 11 is okay, and defense skill 11 is going to get harassed down to 0 in fairly short order. You've got a base map move of 22, which is good. Resist Poison 25, you'll get some mileage out of that with Underwater Indies. Stealth 60 is really important. It means that he's going to be able to pick his fights. Undead is useful because it means you don't need to worry about encumbrance. Ethereal's a great defensive boost once you get your protection sorted out. Amphibious is pretty good. A lot of the other undead are poor amphibians, and you'll be getting your, your full stats. And Spirit Side is pretty useful in deep water where there's darkness. I'm going to be talking through item loadouts at Construction 0 and Construction 2. The items at Construction 0 are reasonably straightforward. You'll be wanting a black steel helmet, and you'll be wanting a black steel full plate. Anything less than these for protection tends to leak quite a bit of damage through, and even if you can heal it up with your life drain, tends to take enough morale checks that you'll route before your enemies do. And here he is in action. This is a black servant with black steel full plate and a black steel helm. So I've safe scummed over 100 games to get some preliminary data on what does and doesn't work. For each trial it's a fresh indie province and a fresh black servant, otherwise they tend to pick up heroic abilities over time. So here's a table of my results and I'll give you an example of how to read them. So in this case I had a fresh black servant and it was equipped with a black steel full plate, a black steel helmet, a black steel tower shield and it was ordered into a province containing a Shambler Chief, 25 Atlantean Militias, and 11 Shamblers in Friendly Dominion. I made multiple copies of the save file, and then I ended turn on each of those save files. On the first save file, it routed, but then survived with two afflictions. On the second, it won, surviving with two afflictions. On the third, it routed and died while fleeing, on the 4th, it died outright without routing, and on the 5th, it routed and survived with two afflictions. On the left-hand side, you can see I've tried different combinations of items against the same group of indies. Up the top, you can see the Berserker Pelt didn't have much luck, uh, getting poked to death. When I went plate instead of full plate, uh, just taking too much damage, and when I don't have the helmet, uh, once again, taking too much damage, and subsequently routing. When we get the combination of the full plate and the black steel helmet, you can see that the results are better. Still get some afflictions. After that, I took that combination to some different provinces to see what it could do. This build gets wrecked by heavy hitters, such as these shark knights. It just doesn't have the hit point buffer to survive. So it doesn't actually have the damage output to kill sea trolls. Uh, something else is that weapon length is important, so spears, spears, because if the life drain is getting repelled, then it doesn't have a way to regen its hit points. 20 seems to be the cutoff point, uh, after which this build begins to fall off. So 18 is okay, 
14 is okay, 17 is okay, even if they're shamblers. 22 Turtle Tribe, and we can still get some wins. And beyond that, it's starting to struggle. Even under 20 units, it'll route sometimes, but at least it's escaping. So the selling point of this Construction Zero build is that you only need Conjuration 1. It's fairly low investment. Thus, you'll only really be using it opportunistically. It's not very useful if the nearby or underwater independents are too strong, or if you're close by to a water or amphibious nation, or if you can get some amphibious mercenaries. But sometimes there'll be an easy little lake, and this will come in handy. Here are the nations who have the Earth to Death to paths to summon the Black Servant and craft the Black Steel Full Plate. I've also listed the relevant mages. The first group of nations can do this without relying on any randoms. The second group will need some randoms to make it work, and the third are already amphibious and have better ways to get underwater. Of these nations, Early Age Machaka and Middle Age Ashdod are the best poised to pull this off within the first year because of their path access and their starting Earth 2 gem income. Alright, on to our Construction 2 items. Of these, the Horror Helmet is the clear standout. If you can summon a Black Servant with two deaths, you can forge a Horror Helmet. Fear just means that the Black Servant needs to survive a much shorter time in order to win the fight. Next up are the Bartskin Amulet and Braces of Protection. It seems like a little bit of added protection does go a long way for survivability. These will stack with each other, and Braces of Protection will stack with itself. The Pendant of Luck is an interesting one. Uh, once you have any of the additional protection, you tend to lose because you rout rather than because you die outright. And the Pendant of Luck wouldn't be helpful in those circumstances, but it would still aid your survivability overall. Lastly, it's worth noting that with Construction 2, your options for water breathing open up. So you may have better options than the Black Servant at this point. So here it is in action. This is three items. Uh, the Horror Helmet, Black Steel Full Plate, and Braces of Protection. So you'll note that while defense still has been harassed to zero, hit points is above maximum. So there's sufficient protection for life drain to make a hit point buffer. Well, we're on to our next set of tables. Here the Black Servant has zero experience, while the Independents have about two stars. Equipping a Black Servant with a Black Steel Full Plate and a Horror Helm allows it to take much larger numbers of weak Independents. It still dies to Shark Knights, and it still can't kill Sea Trolls. In this instance, the Black Servant will rout the enemy army and get stuck on a fleeing Sea Troll, yet be unable to kill it, and racks up lots of experience until it dies to the Battle Timer. Well, as you can see, the Black Steel Full Plate plus Horror Helmet still struggles against the high damage output of the Shark Tribe Tritons. However, if you add a bit more protection there, it can win consistently. And not so for the Shark Knights, get a better chassis if you want to fight them. Now, it didn't seem like the shields made much difference, but we'll need more data to be conclusive about many of these things. For consistency, all of the trials were done with no scripting, but I suspect you'd be best off going hold, 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 attack closest, and positioning in the center all the way to the back. The rationale is that you want to try and minimize the chance that your enemies get a complete surround. And if you end up routing, you'll want the shortest escape route possible. So, in summary, uh, Black Seven Expansion has no gold cost, potentially low tech requirements, and some nations will start with the appropriate gem income. However, it is quite circumstantial. You can't expand into every type of independence. You need to see how strong they are and what kind they are. Watch out for potential competitors. And you, depending on the stage of the game, may have better alternatives, whether that's mercenaries, water-breathing items, or other summons. If you're doing this at Construction Zero, I'd recommend equipping the Black Servant with Black Steel Full Plate and a Black Steel Helmet. And the target provinces are less than 20 weak units. If you're doing this at Construction 2, I'd recommend a Black Steel Full Plate plus a Horror Helmet, and you can add on a Barkskin Amulet and or Braces of Protection, or Double Braces of Protection. You'll still need to avoid high damage units. So some areas where there could be further investigation are how well this does for land expansion or province defense rating, what's the value of having a shield, 
There are some other types of underwater independence that I haven't tried this against. Obviously it needs a larger data set. And what's the context uh, in multiplayer? I don't have too much intention of doing this investigation. It's just food for thought, but there you go. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a good time life draining some fishmen. See ya.